Doctors say lung cancer patients have a better chance of survival now thanks to a new tool. Using robotic technology, physicians can detect and diagnose this disease a lot sooner than before. Alex Bazarian shares an inside look at the process. To give this patient a fighting chance, Dr. Michael Mullins needs to access his lungs. This robot will do most of the heavy lifting. Mullins just has to guide it with a remote controller. The patient that we worked with this morning has uh, an underlying lung disease, smoker's lung disease. It's very severe. The robotic tube will go into the patient's natural openings, sparing him from a surgery he probably wouldn't survive. Our goal today with the robot is to go in and put markers very precisely into the tumor. The markers allow doctors to target radiation directly at the tumor. That treatment will happen a few weeks from now. We're only killing the tumor. We're not killing lung. And that's the idea here is we want to keep, keep as much lung function for him as we can. Mullen says this robotic technology means he can give the patient more information on their diagnosis and most of all hope for survival. You, you can go into the room and deliver hard news to a patient with a bright, with a bright complexion and say, you know what, this is what you have, but we're going to beat it. We have what we need. Mary Grassi says when she went through the procedure, it put her at ease. As she awaits radiation, she's feeling optimistic that cancer is no match for her. I put it in their hands and in God's hands, and I feel like I'm going to come out on top. Right now, this robot can only put in markers and diagnose the cancer. Doctors say, though, in the future, it will be able to actually treat the disease. Pretty cool.